In this video, we will look at the code G79 punching line. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released. As we continue our look at the patterns available to us, in this video we will be discussing the last of the G-code patterns, G79 punching line. We can define G79 as follows. Starting from either the current position or a point designated by G72, a line of length I is punched using a punch of diameter P at a pitch Q with an angle J in relation to the x-axis. The parameters for G79 are I, J, P, Q, D. In the last video, we covered G69 nibbling line, which was a pattern in the nibbling mode. If you haven't seen that video, please click on the link. G79 executes the exact same punching sequence as G69, but in the punching mode. Let's break this down. I is the length of the line from the center of the first hit to the center of the last hit. J is the angle of the line. P is the tool diameter. Q is the pitch or distance between hits. D is the material thickness. We can see the parameters are exactly the same as G69 with the addition of D, which is used for specifying the material thickness. The G79 code will process all hits in punching mode, so we have no maximum limit when it comes to the parameter Q. The RAM will wait until the material is in position before punching the next hit. We still have one limitation, which is that the pitch Q must be greater than material thickness. This is why we specify the material thickness with the parameter D. If we look at this example, we have a line whose starting point is x8.5, y5.5. The length of the line is 11 inches from the center of the first hit to the center of the last hit. The angle of the line is 31 degrees and the tool used is a 0.75 inch round in station T309. We also see that the pitch specified is 0.5 inches between hits. In this case, let's say the material thickness is 0.090 inches. Let's go to punch sim and write a program. G72, x8.5, y5.5, G79, i11, which is the length of the line, J31, which is the angle of the line, P0.75, which is the tool diameter. In this case, we want it to be offset to the left of the line, so it will be positive. Q0.5, which is the pitch or center to center of hits. D0.090, which is the material thickness. T309, which is a station number. Let's simulate our program. If you want more information on the Punch Sim software, click the link to visit cncsoft.com. As with the G69 code, having a large value for Q will result in less hits and a faster processing time, but the finish quality will suffer, as there will be a big scallop height. On the other hand, the smaller the Q, the more hits, and the longer the processing time, but the finish will be better. Note that if Q is less than D, the machine will give you an error. For machines with RAM control, like Vipros, EM, AE, you should always be using G79 instead of G69. There are no real advantages in using G69 on those types of machines. The speed difference between the two G-codes on machines with RAM control is negligible. That covers G79 punching line and concludes the G-code patterns available to us. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below or email us directly at support at cncsoft.com. 
See you soon in the next video as we continue our punch programming course series. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released.